Going on, my. What's up? Not too much. Just feeding a dog. That's uh. Yeah. yeah. Work. Fuck. Could just be slow. Like me. My power turning on? Yeah, like it could just take a minute, like the server might be lagging it. We can try. It like glitched out and like started storing my fucking thing while I was in the middle of trying to take off and then I was all fucked up. Yeah. I've been having a lot of issues with torque imbalances with Connie's. As soon as I get in like one fight, and as soon as I turn my weapons on, I just lose control of my ship. But... <clears throat> did you hit you again or did you uh... No, I just hit it that one time. Maybe just try hitting it again, see if it'll... Nothing. I'll just re-log. Because yeah. the turret works. <laughs> yeah. Like... Maybe it's like a store and unstore thing or something. So I just yeah. tried. I got powers on and everything. That shoots.
Hey, Cody, I'm about to head your way. Okay. One of the crates will have a bunch of pistols and ammo in it. And uh, I think I've got like some oxy pins in there. Sounds good. I'm probably going to have one set aside, which will be mine. I'll have some of my stuff in there, probably. Okay. I've got ten total. But you're a Everest, right? Yep. Can you hear me in party chat? Just go. Stop looking and go. Man, I'm not sure All how right. to... What, uh... What all are you bringing, Colton? Pistols and ammo and crates, oxy pins, uh, maybe maybe something else. I'm not sure if there's anything else back there. That might be it. I've got I've got um, primary weapons and ammo here. Um, I've also got pistols and ammo as well, in case you don't have enough. I've got med pens. Yeah, we need uh, we need med pens. 
friends. We need drinks too. I don't have any of those with me. All right, I'll, I'll pick up drinks and then I'll pick up extra suits for the rest of the crew. I'm in New Babs. Uh, I just got in. You guys want me to pick up some stuff? I'm literally at Aspire, so. No, that's all good. Uh, we we just uh, we're just loading up the Carrick to do some like exploration type of stuff. Not even really aiming for combat. Just, I'm uh, down, bro. That's all I'm saying. I'll, I'll jump in, man. Yeah, uh, if you got, what do you guys need? Um, I think we got it now. We're we're just about to kind of come to a head with everything. I've got right. the I've got the ship loaded up. We're gonna use the Carrick. Um, somebody told me about the the Met Bay on the Carrick being glitched, so we went ahead and loaded up uh, Ursa Med. Okay. And uh, we've got a few Furies on board. All right. Uh. Where do you want to link up at? Um, if you guys can come to me at Everest Harbor. All right, that works. Good deal. It'll be about uh, five minutes once I get my ship. No problem. Right. I'll still probably be loading the ship. I'm going to go through and actually fill all like the weapon racks and stuff. I went ahead and put uh, some of the Embroke suits in the like, suit lockers. Can the suit lockers work now? No, 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 no. Uh, I just have them like sitting in there, uh, just the box. So when you when you open it up, you can just like open your inventory and drag it out of there and put it on. Yeah, I was gonna farm some guns and stuff in a Kirk at some point, but uh, I was looking at those suit lockers the other day because some ships you can uh, close people in them and use them as prison cells, basically. Yep, because yeah. people get locked at them. You could act. People get locked themselves at them all the time. That's like half the job of, of a medic RP is going and getting people stuck out of stuff. But mm. the, the, Cody, are you outside or inside? I'm inside Everest. But the um, guys, I want to ask if you're still there. Huh? Someone in chat asked if you're still there. Oh. We're gonna have these head tags working. Yeah, I'm about to, uh... I'm about to back out and invite all you guys into a party. I think, I think I'm the only one that has to actually back out. I don't know. I'll back out too, though. Yeah, I think it sna It should snatch us out, but I'll back out also. I'm, in a different I'm just going to have to run back to the spaceport to get over there. Nothing needs report. All right, whatever works. I'm trying to hire somebody to help me do a thing, and then they just left as soon as I told them what I was doing. I was just like... What are you trying to do? I'm trying to hide the prospect. I've been trying to do it for about six months now, so... Mm. I just can't get anyone to help me do it. I need someone to hold it still with the tractor beam. Hmm. Hmm. But, uh... Hmm. So how do you find this prospector? It's, a start it's like mission. a mission? Yeah, it's just the, the clear the claim jumpers missions. They spawn like 60 prospectors. And then I'm just trying to get one of them and break the door down. The last time I did it, I couldn't break the door down, though. I, I kept shooting it. I couldn't get it to Watch open. You. Why don't you get a tow truck, get the tow truck, spawn the mission, get the tow truck, drive the tow truck over, just snatch it up and drive it away with it. Shields have to be off. Uh, I've got one of those tow trucks. Uh, I could probably help you. Yeah, but you still have to break in, though. Like, we, we could tow it off, but the Cutlass Black has a tractor beam thing in the back that you can keep it still, but I don't know about towing it. But as long as the NPC's in there, they can just, it'll restart and they'll fly off. Can we just kill it? You have to break in. That's the, I couldn't get through the door. I've had a lot of tests I've been trying to do. I've been trying to use um, different guns we on use the doors, the, uh, torches, mining lasers. I'm, I'm is it in atmosphere or in space? Space. It's, if we use those little uh, bikes, we might be able to shoot the door open a little easier. Maybe. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Yeah, I don't have a bike right now. Well, I might be able to buy one. I've it's got basically everything. 
I got a bike. Your insurance claim that would probably sent. make it easier to get the door to open, I would imagine. Yeah, I don't know how hard it is. Usually you can shoot the back doors and they'll open with just like basic guns, but that last prospector I tried to open, I had a LMG and I used like three or four hundred rounds on the door and it just wouldn't open. Oh. So, uh, hey, what if we... I've got a Vanguard Your Sentinel. Your insurance claim has been sent. What if we, uh... Put distortion cannons on top, and I just went through flashing a bunch of EMP, you know, and uh, we shut it down. Uh, if you can get the ship to shut down, they're usually offline for like five minutes. Yeah, but in space, they don't stop moving. That's the problem I'm having. Like, even though they're shut yeah, down, yeah. It's, it's still like semi flies, it, it goes in a weird direction, so you gotta hold it still. It's, um, I understand, I've seen them do that stuff. Did we already server hop or? No, no, not yet. Okay. I'm uh, I'm about to here in a little while. All right. I'm already in the, in the backup menu. I just didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if I missed it or not. No, you're all good. Your insurance claim. I gotta test what something. What you can do with a cutty black and a a bike. Come in. Come in. What do you what what price is you looking for? Oh, just how much your bike is. If they sell them here, I don't know. What are they like a dragonfly? Yeah, just you know, something that three forty two seventy two. Or 342, 720. I wish they would come out with the uh, the Tumble Ranger. Is that going to be a it's like a, a four wheeler or like a actual like motorcycle yeah, style? It's a motorcycle with wheels. Oh, well, that'd be it cool. Good. Yeah. I I I I have a I have a hunch that there's there's a truck coming out, <laughs> right? In this new patch. I have a hunch it's going to be 10 wheels. Interesting. I could get a Cutlass Blue. Because they had, they on the, the, the Zeus, I don't know if it was the Zeus or, it was either the Zeus or something else. One of the new uh, ships had the concept art, has a 10-wheeled vehicle in it. And it's got gotcha. like a fuel tank on back, and then it's got one that's got, it's carrying SCU crates around. I think it's going to be a 10-wheeled vehicle. 10 -wheel. It's going to be like a semi stop because and and they talked about having roads and the new patch is coming up pretty soon. Um, That'd be cool. I was going towards that crane in my head because they had that land vehicle that was supposed to be for base building. That was uh. Well, I think the overall goal is they're going modular with stuff, so they'll just be able to snatch stuff in and put it in. Skins on the uh, like colorless black skins on the colorless blue. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. If it shares the, if it's a model style that you have a paint with that you can carry, it. like the freelancers could even share stuff with the freelancer mask Max. I never flew a colorless blue. Some kind of. I don't know if it comes with distortions though. Um, I can look for you. You said it blue? Yeah, I mean, I can take them off of my other one and put them over here. But... Um, this guy, it's got two distortions on the very, on, on gimbals, very puck S3s. So it's sure got I size. Yeah, I don't know where it would be. Okay. It's just telling me that you have, that isn't in the turrets. That's got laser repeaters in the turrets and it's got ballista gatlings and. Distortion repeaters. They should make a uh, police version of the Dragonfly. I want cop stuff so bad. I just want to fuck with people. Like, I want to pull people over and just be able to do the, the NPC thing to them. And if they run, just give them a, a crime stat. Yeah. That'd be good. 
I'm split on the Cutlass Blue compared to the Cutlass Black because it, uh... It doesn't have, like, a cargo space, I don't think, but it, it's faster, better armor, I think. Quantum interdiction, or no. It has something. I think it has an interdiction on it. Yeah. I never use an interdiction, that'd be kind of nice. I could never figure... I Supposedly, supposedly like, my ship is one, but it doesn't have... Oh no, it's an interceptor, it's not an interdictor. Never mind. My bad. I was gonna say some some have like a co pilot seat that requires someone to turn it on. The the fifty the origin fifty or whatever it is, that that's interdictor though, isn't it? Uh, I don't Welcome know. to the ASOC what vehicle is it? retrieval uh, system. M50. Is it? Is it? That's good. No, it's an interceptor. I like the Anvil Hawk. Your vehicle has been delivered Isn't to the that following the one that's Please the, uh, visit us again. The Hornet Goodbye. that was mishmashed into another ship. Uh, yeah, it looks kind of like that, but it's got an EMP on it. Welcome. The oh, that's the my like my next combat ship that I'm buying is that uh Warlock. The uh, Anvil Warlock, I'm or the curious. Uh, Aegis, I think. yeah, Aegis, uh, Aegis Avenger Warlock. I've always been curious about Sounds that cool. ship because it EMPs like just yep. EMP and somebody That's the whole who's thing. trying to leave. No, I want to get one. Of, I want to no get idea. a Mantis. I want to get a Mantis and one of those together. So, so the Hawk, it's you gotta have a little more finesse with it than you would think, but against like smaller ships. Like uh, medium fighters and down, it's really effective. Like, I'll use some like laser repeaters because they're pretty good at knocking shields out, and just kind of get on them and get their shields down, and then I'll hit my boost, get right up next to them, and pop my EMP. And unlike medium fighters, you gotta pop it on them like twice, but it'll kill their ship completely, and they're they'll just be dead in the water. For, I think it's like five minutes. That until their ship reboots, and so wow. you can just so do you just whatever. get the pounce on them, yeah. And then um, the like the the Scorpius and Taris, that's a really good one, but it takes a, a co-pilot, and then the co-pilot kind of has to time it just right when they pop the EMP. But that one's a little more powerful than the Hawks EMP. Still want to get their shields down first, and then the Mantis with its like dampening field or whatever. Or, or, yep. Snatching people out. They have an yeah. app that's specifically to catch trade the trade routes. Really? Yeah, they have a like uh, it's an it's an actual app. You, it's for timing your jump to be in the best place to catch from multiple angles of the uh, of the QG awesome. jump. And in like uh, it's specifically designed for the mantis to get to a certain spot to be able to like to get four a. Uh, QT lanes at once instead of just one. It's stuff like that. It's really cool, man. It's like their version of uh, trade tools. Sounds like something that would happen. <laughs> blue looks like Robocop from the front. Uh, what is it? Uh, I'll find it. I've been finding all these different apps for the game. Yeah, I just wish man, they had this. stuff in There's the game the instead of side of it. it it that is that is true but like look at flight simulator bro like there is cargo in the ship they had to create an entire new game just to play with flight simulator <laughs> so like that that that's kind of the way like it's the kind of the way some of it i look at what is it the 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 air terminal people they have their own game now that links with a uh, flight sim uh, it's like ground control and stuff like that. I mean, it sucks that the Cutlass Blue doesn't have the side doors, but it has cargo space. I don't know what size vehicle you could fit back here. If like a Cyclone or something. I mean, claim it's right there. Oh, whoa, whoa, 
Whoa, what is that? Does the Cutlass Blue have more weapon racks? I can't open it. It looks like the Cutlass Blue has a lot more weapon racks in it. That's like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna want some I'm gonna want some help. <laughs> I think I may be I can't, I can't remember where I found it. There is an app though, and it's really cool. I'm yeah, trying I'm gonna, to. Look I'm for gonna do this differently. The Quantum Snare app. That's what I was looking for. I need the name of it. Yeah. And everyone's gonna have to use it so they know what angles not to go when they deliver cargo. Right. Oh, the easiest way to get around that. I've already figured out that. The first time I ever got Mantis, and I figured out what happened. Because I had no clue what happened the first time it happened. And they dismantled me, and I'm like, oh, well, how did I get dropped out of there? Well, in order to do that ever again, I'm not just going to fly straight. I'm going to bounce off, head to a different place, QT off to a different place, get it about a quarter of the way there, stop, then jump to wherever I'm going to. That's the only way, that's the easiest way to defeat the Mantis. If you know it's out there and people are talking about it, then chat. Like, I just got Mantis. Well, that just, all I do is I just spread my, uh, I, I spread my route out just a little bit further. I think I might like the colors blue more than the black now that I've been in it. Because you could still put right. boxes in. Cody, I logged out. I'm waiting for whenever you. Get it reformed or what? Uh, what not? Oh, okay. Um, yep. give me a second. <clears throat> the blue doesn't have. I'm gonna. Game. I'm gonna just run in here and set my spawn at Everest just in case any fuck shit happens. Okay. And then, of course, I'll reset. It'll it change it whenever you set it to the carrot. What do you mean? It'll change it. Like, you won't, if you lose the Carrick for whatever reason, you're not going back to Everest. It'll put you at your default spawn position. Oh, actually? That's dumb. Yeah. So I guess don't worry about it then? Yeah. Okay. All right. Snare Plan. That's the name of it. It's called Snare Plan. So you put in your origin and you put in the destination of the areas that you're trying to capture in between. And it'll give you all the points and everything that you need to do. That's the uh, Dola snare plan. D-O-L-U-S snare plan. I've never seen distortion, these distortions that are on here. Nope. Hanging around on stuff. Double repeaters. That's nuts. Alright, I'm exiting to menu, and then I'm gonna start sending out those invites to the party. Right. We're here, man. Probably should have shook that up. So you see the switch to turn the QED on, but I don't know how to. Fuck! God damn it, I hit the wrong button. I'm rejoining. Son of a bitch! I will re log out in just a second. He's going to re re log. Yep. I'm all about those re re logs. It pulled me in when you did that. Really? Yes. Interesting.
So I hate Michigan, but there's one thing I love about Michigan, and it's $25 weed. Twenty-five dollar ounces. Welcome. Twenty-five dollar ounces. Yes. Hmm. We make all the uh, pens. They're like all over the country, like all the CBD pens that everybody puffs on. Yeah, we make all those. Gotcha. And so, in order, like that's all pulled from the stems. And I'm smoking industrial waste, basically. Kind of cool. Twenty five dollars, man. Can't beat it. <laughs> Goodbye. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Yeah, that's fucking crazy actually. Vehicle selected. It, it sounds horrible. It sounds a lot Visited horrible today. than it is. Welcome. It's basically like basically they trim instead of uh, what you would normally do and trim the the flower off of the stem. It's like they they're seeing the stem as the more valuable part. So that really is crazy. And holy yeah. fuck, is this taking a long time? Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Well, the, everybody in America is like half the states only have access to the pens, the CBD stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I say don't. Yeah, no. Or the the deltas or whatever. Yeah, I use those delta pins. I tried them, like uh, when they first came out, and they were horrible. Burnt up my chest. Please visit us again. But well, that ain't good. But not having access to anything else, I could see it. Yeah, I just smoke crack. Easy. All I know is someone doesn't like me anymore because they said they didn't smoke, and then I saw them one day smoking a vape, and I was like, I thought you didn't smoke, and they're like, it's not smoking, and I was like. I used to I used to smoke cigarettes. I can't do it no more. But I mean, I, I, think I, game now, but I, I ain't holding it against anybody either, though, because I know how I know what the I know the struggle. I've been there, so I don't hold it against anybody. I mean, yeah, I but you don't really want to smell them smoking. Well, you, nobody really wants to smell my vape either, though. That's the way I look at it. I remember, I remember being like not being a smoker and walking through people's vapes and being like, "Oh my gosh!" One of the things, like I worked at a like a, a park with people, and you got stuck in a truck, and everyone would smoke cigarettes and stuff in there for a long time, and I fucking hated that shit. And then when the vapes came out, everyone started smoking vapes, and you still couldn't barely breathe in the car because there's fucking vape shit everywhere. And then they were like, yep. "It's not smoke, you know? It's not." You know, stop bitching about it. it. Ain't gonna kill you. And it's like, I fucking bullshits everywhere. It's just, just, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I use a vape. Yeah. Well, like at least when people smoke, they like put it out the window and stuff. They try to be polite, but when someone's vaping, they just breathe it right in your fucking face for no reason. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's the thing. Or like, it just went. We're we're like thirty. Or 40 years ago with the vapes in comparison to cigarettes but then again the cigarettes last longer than the vapes too though yeah like you could smoke a cigarette and be good for an hour or so i mean or with really the vape you're like five five minutes you're like Phew. all right all right never five minutes you're like Phew. yeah i'm looking for mine right now freaking out where i can't find it now everyone I see that smoked a cigarette was just 24 7 puffing it well that too but it's always you had to excuse yourself go outside now too though everybody's used to that with the vapes it's become such a habit and people do it in their house that they'll do it by like I've puffed in people's houses by accident all right who, who all am I inviting fathead I think they fathead, fucked up right. how the, the bikes Dragonfly is stuck flipping over on its side. Okay. 
Yeah, I accept it. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake interplanetary craft. Your systems are online. We can't go. Welcome to the Ace, so please visit us again. Goodbye. All right. Looks like we got our crew. I'm uh, entering the universe now. Thank you. Yeah. I gotta test some. I'm gonna be talking for a second and I gotta see if something does this turn off. You can't use the black skin on the blue. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yep. Alright. Did it did I key off for a second? Like did I um, mute myself for a second? I, I can't tell. Uh I do it for longer. So here I am talking by. Uh, was there a gap? It muted briefly. Right. Very right. brief. Now yeah, there's, there's an me. echo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's probably because in game. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't have an echo on mine. It's normal. Vehicle selected. Stand um, by. Dude, why is it taking so long to load me in? This is crazy. All right, I'm muted in game. Is that an echo still? No, you're good. God, I think I broke my hanger. Be there in about Welcome five minutes. To the ASOC vehicle retrieval right. system. I'm coming from MT. I logged out when I should have just. Uh, made my way over there. Well, at least we all got our head tags working. At least I think they're all working anyhow. Please visit us again. I've got. Do something, my fucking Welcome. Connie works visit now. Us again. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Your I see works now. At EFAFO and invite. You do see my head tag? Yep. See yours and Fathead. Yep. I see invites and payphones. Dude, on my end, I'm still on the Stanton system loading screen. Hmm. Kind of ridiculous. Very interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Ah, it works. Thank God. You're going to Everest, right? Yep. Yeah, I've had to Everest. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. I think I might have to like hard restart my launcher. Please visit us again. Goodbye. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. This is... I 
figured earlier, at some point I might load up my Carrick and just sit there and farm sniper rifles and stuff for a while. Load it up. I need rocket launchers. Yeah, I don't know where to get those yet. I don't either. I haven't seen a railgun either, but everyone is telling me it's hard to farm snipers, and I literally just what? started doing it to spawn like every two minutes. I the ended up is... with a sniper rifle somehow. And I don't PvP or PvE. Did it by chance disband the party or no? No. No. I was hoping that it wouldn't, so. Did you close your app or something? Welcome yeah. to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. We've got a few people in the party that aren't here in chat. Uh, one of y'all could just let them know that I'm having some, some difficulties here. They're probably like wondering what's crazy work, what we're doing. Or and stuff. Well, I'm on my way to Everest. What the fuck? Oh. I can't even just turn it off. Do I need to upgrade my power supply or something? Yeah, try turning off your weapons. See what happens. It just randomly shut down. Yeah. Like. Have you it happens. Fought, have you fought with it at all? No. Nah. I don't know, but it's uh, been having a lot of problems with like torque imbalances and power stuff. Like I always have to turn my weapons off to get it to fly right. We're doing exploration stuff, right? Yep. Yep. And you you brought Pembroke suits? Yep. Oh, uh, I've got five of them. I can load some more up if we need them. Okay. Um, I got a Pembroke. I can bring mine. All right, sick. Is this time to get a different big ship? They're gonna fly hmm. into the black of space. That's right. Um, sustenance. If my game will ever load in, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Welcome to the Your guy's about to starve to death, and I gotta get some drinks. Oh. And then I'll be on my way. Drink, drink. <clears throat> well, normally I like to starve the guy, but like I was actually starving him, and it's time for him to actually not starve. Tell CIG about fasting. That's what we need to do, right? Please visit us again. You pre-eat, and then you know you you can fast for a week without needing food or something. Like... I don't know. I've gone a couple of days without it before. It's not the funnest, but it's not like horrible. It's not that bad. It's just uncomfortable. Nah. They need I to know. add like a nutrition pack that you can attach to your suit. Oh, that'd be dope. Like an IV. Mm -hmm. Well, like the second day, you stop just being hungry. It costs one hundred and fifty dollars. I got you. Only a game, only allowed to be purchased by the concierge club. Pledge only. Yep. <laughs> I kind of wish they would add like y'all played Fallout at all, like the old games. Yep. Like Fallout Three, that medical armor that like talks shit, and it'd be like. Why are you still getting shot or whatever? And they would like, here's some adrenaline, just you know, to inject meds into. Yeah. Let's have one of those. 
That would actually be pretty good. Or like at least like an arm, something kind of like that attaches to you and you can, it gives you medicine when you need it. But it's only good for like an hour or something. They can only go up with the med game. They can only go in another. The only direction they can go is uh, more immersive with it. I want to get some of those um, like LED light bars that you put around around your gaming setup, and then it'll it's like interactive with what's on the screen. I want to get the Logitech ones. Those ones are amazing. I'm gonna uh, I'm building a cockpit. Uh, oh, or, that's sick! Like, and it's gonna have like it's gonna be like an enclosed cockpit. The whole goal is for me and my kids to be able to play Star Citizen or Flight Sim or something like that all together. And work as a crew. That'd be cool. That sounds cool. And then, uh, but I'm planning on using the Logitech lights to light the the top rail because they're thin, and they have like all the programming stuff. A lot like the Logitech app is amazing. Gotcha. With all Find like whatever ship you like the best to build the cockpit after it. Oh no, man! I'm 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 making it like I like I. My whole goal is to make it look like. I, I'm a scrapyard guy, and I just built a car out of nothing. Gotcha. So, like, like with cool. pots and pans and stuff? No, more like uh, just the components will all be different <laughs> different style than components and whatnot. Yeah, that sounds cool. All right, so I'm actually going to join into Arena Commander for a second and then come back and see if that fixes my issue because I cannot load into the PU right now. Okay. Um. Do, do you guys want me to disband the party before I do this? Like, is it going to pull y'all if I do this? It won't yeah. pull us. It'll, it'll, it'll give us the you. option, won't it? Okay, yeah, if it, it gives you the, the option, give you the option. All right. No, but my... What I was getting at is the, uh, it'll just be like different styled components. It looks like I yanked a bunch of shit out of a different bunch of ships. I understand what you're saying. I was just making a joke with the pots. Oh, and no, pans. no, oh, no worries. It's going to kind of in to a degree look like that, but think Sounds Drake, cool. think Drake, a Drake style cockpit, but if like half the components weren't Drake and they were snatched from other types of ships. Yeah, that'd be cool. That does sound cool. All right. A, Moment of just, truth. Uh, buy a broke down Enter. aircraft and build it into your house. Oh no. No, I say it's a lot cheaper. Side. It's a lot cheaper. I figured it out that uh, it's about the size of a, a, a double bed. And or tw not not yeah it's double twins a smaller one <clears throat> it's about the size of a double bed and that fits in about an average bedroom in the middle so i'm gonna run yeah. uh just a uh, different screen uh obviously cockpit style vision out of the front that and sounds awesome the eventual goal is to have uh, projectors, but not not initially. It's probably just going to be like 40-inch TVs to begin with. Yeah, that sounds really cool. You going to put like bucket seats into it or something? Actually, man, I'm going with straight Sparkos. It's Sparkos. cheaper to do a Sparko. It's cheaper to buy a Sparko racing seat than it is to buy a flight simulator seat. And I'm not yeah, trying to have the, I'm not trying you. to have a center I'm not trying to have a center stick uh cockpit. I want yoke. 
Because I think yoke fe looks and feels... I mean, most of the ships in the game have yokes. They don't have sticks. And the ones that do are the fighters. Yeah. And the yoke uh, gives you two different Make hats. It's interchangeable. You just do either or. Yeah, and I have the ability to do that too. So, But it's going to have... I'm still going to have the side throttle. It's just going to... I'm just also going to have a yoke. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. And then uh, the two rear, because uh, I'm going to have have it set up to where the two rear seats are going to face out the back or out the sides. And then the two, obviously, the two cockpits, the pilot, co-pilot are going to face forward like normal. But anybody know how to fix this? Fix what? I, just, I can't load in. Uh, like, uh, it gets to where it says Stanton system on the screen. It has like the nebula background loading mm -hmm. screen and it won't go past this. Mm. When you said you're a launcher, did you also, uh, like make sure it was fully closed off in task manager? Um, I just, I want to quit app in, in within the launcher. I can go to task manager and do it. Yeah, because sometimes, like, I just won't fully close it. Oh, shit, I'm trying to fly without game glove. Try this again. All this fucking work putting the ship together and it's about to not let me in. It's crazy. Crazy. Why is this bad luck, bro? Yep. That's part of being a character owner, man. It's like literally the other day I loaded mine up and I landed and then it flipped sideways. Got stuck. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, yeah the ramp uh, glitched into a telephone pole or something, and then it flipped it over. You know, I was thinking about it, and whenever they actually update the Carrick so that the cargo pods work, you're going to be able to fit so many fucking Furies on that Carrick, it's not even going to be funny. That thing is going to be a snub carrier for sure. It's going to be a UE... Uh, Gerald R. Ford. Yeah. I just see it as a dropship thing in general. But... It's a hospital. Don't mess with my hospital. Well, it's a hospital and dropship. All right, Hamas, relax. <laughs> I'm taking refuge behind a hospital. I mean, it is going to be sort of a hospital. It pretty right. much is. What do you guys think will give me the most likely success? Just join on one of you guys, uh, enter persistent universe, universe button, or disband party, and then enter, or... Probably or just, just join on us. Yeah, try, try joining. All right. You guys all on the same one? I'm going to mm -hmm. join yep. on. Bafo. So I guess to like get people to join your crew, you just have to offer an absurd, absurd amount of money. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's basically yeah. it. Because like I keep going up and nobody's doing. And then I had someone join because they were like, "I need a hundred k to like get started." And I was like, I'll, "I'll give you that. Just help me out for like five minutes." And then they joined. They're like, "What are we doing?" And I was like, "I just have to pick you up. We'll do this mission. It'll take like five minutes." And then they left. Yeah. And it's yeah. It's they just want a fucking handout. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, but it's just. 
all I'm trying to do is get the I'm trying to capture the prospect. It's because the like streamers tell every everybody in that they'll like any you never know. If you just ask people, somebody some nice guy might just give you a couple hundred thousand dollars. Well, and it's like, no, that's not the way that works. <laughs> I mean, people that will just give you a lot of money. There, there is people that will, but the like <laughs> when the people that are asking for it are outweighing the people that are doing it. Yeah, yeah it, it really reinforces how uh, how I felt about scamming people like that early on. Because well, because I, I used to not give out any money, I would just always scam people, and it was the funniest shit ever. Because I would only target people like that. It's the same reason why you can't like start making a profit by like selling wreckage locations and stuff because people will just be like, "Well, I'll give them for free," you know, like mm -hmm. that's that happens in global chat a lot. Like you'll have a big fighting mission, you'll have like four hammerheads crashed on a planet, and you'll be like, four hammerheads for sale," you know, salvage crews or whatever. And then well, that's like, why well, that's why the crew. orgs need to. That's why the leaders of the orgs eventually have to are gonna have to like not be assholes to each other and fighting for everybody and be like, yo, we actually can set up our own economy in this. You sell, you sell this data. I sell this data. We sell this data to this guy. You, you know what I mean? That type of stuff. That's why I'm iffy on getting a star fare or not, because I could just have two reclaimers and then hire somebody else to give me gas. I don't know. I've got a star fare. So does post. Quantum fuel, you know, when you go yep. into, the, into the black. Gotcha. If they There's refueling ships here? Yep. I don't know if it still works, oh. though. Yeah. It does. We, we were doing it the other day, but it's it's a little buggy. Mm. Like anything on here, obviously. Can you make money selling the fuel anywhere? Uh, you, I don't know if you I don't know sell. about to locations, but to players. Yeah. You can sell it to players, but they have to agree on the price. My knowledge, that's about it. Well, I'll for sure, when that happens, I'll for sure have a floating bar. Well, I was talking, I think it was one of y'all the other day were saying they wanted a Starfare, and I was, I said that it, it's kind of like a early game fleet ship in a way, because like, if you have Connie's or whatever, the Starfare could refill the Connie's and the, the PCs, or not the PCs, the uh, Archimedes and, and stuff that are on there. Just fly around. That's something I got to get at some point. But I already have the the fury, so I'm kind of like, uh, I don't need another snub. I would love to see like a fleet of like a bunch of snub fighters on like two carriers and like a hammerhead and refill ship, medical ship, some some smaller ships. Like I want to see a whole fleet. Yeah. But as oh, of I right now, it. it's looking like I'm not going to get back in. This is insane. Maybe I need to do a damn a character repair. A what? Character repair. What is that? The character repair. It's... Makes him have to reset his dude. That's about it. I think I'm gonna have to fucking grab everything back onto the ship too. No, you, no, you shouldn't even have to do that. Everything persists. It's just it, it's basically it like a, like the, it just resets your player basically. Yeah. Hey, so you might even still have all your gear on you. Oh, it will. When did ganking become a a gaming term? Has it been around I, for a while? I don't know. It came over from ED. The ED guys say it a lot. Well, that's why I'm curious, because someone said it in here, and I, I was like, did you get that from League of Legends? Because that was the only game I ever knew that said ganking, and they were like, no, it's been around for a really long time. And I don't remember that ever being a word in gaming, like, up until, like, I don't know, recently. No, nah, this, game, this game uses Cook. They use Cook a lot for... Like, we cooked that dude. Uh, that's like, that's the dude that just came in from ED and just is treating the game like it's ED. I don't really keep 
up with the gamer term. It's like noob. I never knew where noob came from, and I remember I, I don't know where about it, came it from. a while back. I thought when I was younger, I thought noob came from noob cybot from uh, uh, Mortal Kombat. I was looking into ED. That's the only reason I kind of understand where it was. So when it tells me this account has been repaired, then it's good. Or then I have to wait. Yep. Wait. Get cruise control off. I don't have any takers. I might just have to log and go into a different server. Okay, so now I, I restart the game. Yeah. Awesome. I feel like the servers that I go on are always filled with like the most trolly people. Because there's guys on here that were like, as soon as you do something, they're going to come and kill me. Like, they just want to hunt me down for no reason. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval like, System. like, when I mine, they insult my rocks. It's like, they're just what? angry. They're angry people. You say they insulted, their, they insulted your rocks? Yeah. When I, I tried to mine, like, a long time ago, and I was ground mining, and I, I found rocks that were like, Basically, they were like 60 or 70 percent gold. They're massive, and I was I couldn't farm them with a rock miner, and I tried to get someone to help me. And uh, oh wow! Everyone was telling me that my rocks were shit and stuff, and no one wants to do any of that. Like, and I was like, um, but Rip. I thought gold was still pretty good. I, I don't know. I don't know if they're lying or not. I don't know enough about mining. They just wanted you to leave, so they come in and take it. Yep. Well, I mean, it's it was a the only way to get to where that was was for me to tell them basically because it uh there's air defenses that were there that would kill you if you fucked up. Gotcha. Dude, this is giving me so much trouble. I really hope this works soon. For some reason, I still see a head tag for you, Cody. Yeah, I think it. I'm pretty sure it thinks I'm still in the game. Are you? Were you in your hangar? Uh, no, no, I was. I was somewhere within the station. Mm. Well, well, there's. I don't think I could go up and kill you if you were inside the station. Then. Well, apparently they had a lot more leaks come out for the game as well, with the new patches and stuff coming. What kind of leaks? I don't remember everything. Something about some of the I think that starting vehicle and stuff, and then new animals. They cut the files. Oh, some the the sandworm was part of it. So they're saying the sandworm's coming. Um. What? I don't remember what the other <gasps> stuff was. There was cows. That there was a yeah. the vehicles. There's I wish they would a... add land claims where you could like buy your own property. They will soon enough. As soon as base building gets here. Oh my gosh! I can only imagine how expensive that's going to be. Imagine how annoying it's gonna be. I'm gonna get a big ass property. You can already see it. I want one, but like a mountain and a river in it. Maybe even a bunker. You're gonna have people laying claim everything. There's gonna be an org that'll just lay and claim a whole planet. Like there's it's it's gonna Or just like bunker locations. Just have like a series of bunk like you build bases around a bunker that everyone farms and you build air defenses and shoot everyone down like like i don't know i'll claim a planet that'd be so cool yeah it would 
that really is the weird. one thing that I want from No Man's Sky is to be able to go out and find your own planets. You can't find planets in No Man's? Or there's one of them you can. You can, or maybe that is elite. I don't know. You can go out and like name your own planets and stuff. I tried to get into No Man's Sky, but I just I don't know. It was it was odd. Is No Man's Sky the one where you build your own ship? Yeah. <laughs> It's like uh, it's like animated looking, and uh, everything's trying to kill you while you're also being killed by the environment. Okay. Yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> All right, here we go. Moment of fucking truth. If that sandworm comes yeah. out, though, I'm gonna definitely get myself eaten. I'm gonna go fly right, right next to it. What's up? Yeah. Mr. Beaks. Okay, that isn't our guy. So are we getting new ships soon? Yeah. yeah. With this new update that's coming in, like, well, it'll be PTU'd in, like, the next week or so, they said. Sweet. Yep. And it, now to give us a new ship. The Evocati for this PTU got 15 mil. So that's a free 15 mil you'd get to play with for a little bit. Everybody so gets it. Yeah, if you do the PTU. Sweet. So... That's the best part about it is you get the, the best part of PTU is you get to play with whatever you want. I bought yeah. a car runner the last time and I lost it. Well, that's kind of what I'm doing in the PU. It'd be cool if they dropped the Polaris to the PU here in a week or two with the update. Who, Polaris isn't out yet. Is 2D Cat? No. Yeah, I'm off. I am, dude. This thing's hanger is massive. 2D Cat. 2D Cat played with us the other day. Yeah, he says he's floating in space, I think. We know a bog so too far. See, this is what I mean. I get friend requests all the time. Arrow. I just get lost. What am I doing? What's up? Where's he at? Is he in Everest or no? He's at Everest. I got him. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I can't say. I, I have my thing muted in chat. 
or in game, like I'm sitting outside on the ASAP. How's it going, Cody? Not at all. I can't even seem to get the character repair to go. What do you mean? I mean, I get, don't want to work. Do the character repair online? Yes. I think it sends you an email when, when it's ready. Did it do that? Like, I have access to your yeah. hangar right now. Yeah, it still thinks I'm in there. Like, it, it yeah. still thinks I'm, like, in the game. It's not running in the background, right? Hey, I got someone to help me, but only if they could bring their own ship, which kind of, you know, makes it harder, but we're, we're, we're making progress. It's good. What the fuck? Now arriving, Tisa Spaceport. Please watch your step when disembarking the train. Go ahead, where are you at? Like right here you. behind you. I'm right near Fafo. Oh. Well, let's go help out our brother. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle. Can you help a dragon? System. You're the one that needs uh, help with the, uh... Disco lights. Oh, man, I got Stand a guy by. that's gonna fly over here. Uh, Gladius. Your vehicle has been delivered. We'll come help you. For, like, 200k. <laughs> uh, mm, mm. Oh, look at this cool thing. I ain't never been in this co-pilot seat one of these. Mm. Alright, well, I guess I'll be back. Um, not really much I can do until that goes through. Your game just, closed uh, down. Yeah. Yeah. Where exactly were you standing? Um, well, actually, I'm trying to get where. to your body to where you're standing at. You. Yeah. What if we run into him with a ship? I think he's inside the station. I may have been in my hangar. I don't. I don't remember. Let's see if I can see you. If you're in the hangar, we can kill you. Yeah. It looks like you're at the hangars. Yeah, you're in a hangar. Because oh, you're on cool. one of the rings. We need to kill this player. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to go to prison. I'll do it. I can break you out. You got it? Killing him? I got it. Okay. Do you know the jump puzzle to get out of prison? No. Yeah. No. My, my getting out of prison is I go play Arma for a couple of days. It's easy to get out. <laughs> I can show you the, the prison, like, run, and it'll take, like, five minutes. Oh, shit. I don't know where he's at. 
I can't seem to get to his head tag no matter what I do. Have you tried his large hanger? Yeah, he's 3.7 km away from this, from his hanger. You are clear to launch. Hmm. Launch this is definitely his hanger. Landing gear up. Oh. Let's try seeing if we can get landing permissions near him. Maybe he's at the hab. Mm. There's nothing we can really do though if he ain't. It looks like he's like Thank you. inside his hangar. Yeah. I just went inside it. He's not in there. You're bounty hunting? Kinda. We're kinda bounty hunting. Mm. <laughs> Any the host? No, we're chasing invite. Oh. We're chasing his. We're chasing his his ped. All right, I cleared the cache on my launcher. I'm gonna relog in now. Where are you at? That uh, you're getting your random friend to help you for 200k. Come do it for free. I'm at Hurston right now. But... Where in Hurston? Or where are you going to? Because uh, we're, we're up at the station above Hurston. Um, well, the contracts aren't showing me. I don't know if it's lagging. Are we on the same server? Oh. Could be. Um, hang on. So the one I joined only had like 35 people on it. Oh, well, no, you're not with us. You need to join on us. Just, uh, if he doesn't show up, I'll pop over. We'll just do spins. See how fast we can go till we pass out. I see how long it will drift spinning in this circle with the engines off. All right, I'm not gonna look that way because I was starting to get a little queasy. Not really, but like it was starting to affect like the whole like getting dizzy shit. Yeah, I found where his body's at. He's in a hab. I don't think I can enter the hab though. Stand by. Let's see if this works. I wish there was a way for me to glitch into this damn thing. Yeah, I'm going to, before I try to join, I'm going to fully disband the party and switch my server to EU and then try to join. So it, there's no chance in fuck it tries to put me back in that server. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's all right, man. My problem solving skills are being put to the test right now as we speak. I don't know if the server's lagging or if the guy left because he's not answering. Can you see the radar logs I'm getting? No, I'm gonna... Bring up radar though, probably. No, never mind, I can't hear. Those are yours. Yeah, I think he left. Fuck. All right. Come All right, on over to us, we'll help you for free. Server. You're in a new server? Not yet. Still shows we're in a party with you. Oh, not on my end. Are you on the same server you were earlier? Because it was full. Well, we're about to head to a different one. Alright. Head to EU. And we're just at 30 kilometers away. We drifted for a while. Yeah. Zeke is in the future. All right. You might all own a 
prospector, but if you want to do a risky mission and you don't want to lose your ship or your components, you can just go and steal off. some of these and then use them. And then it wouldn't it wouldn't suck if they got blown oh, up. That worked. It worked. It did. Okay, don't try um, joining back into this lobby because I still see you here. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the party and I'm gonna back out too. Did you shoot All a right. cannon? Go ahead. I did not shoot the 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 four cannons. I did not do that. Okay. I, I, I shot the, the the I don't know the the ones that shot four at once. I could only shoot two. I'm backing out to menu. Just want to make sure. Wow. I'm gonna land real quick and then back out to the menu. Such I fucking hate the PVP in this game sometimes. don't understand, like, when it comes to ship-to-ship -ship stuff, how so many people are so good at it. Well, you can't even <laughs> tell that you're getting hit until you're dead half the time, but there was a hornet that was flying in. I, uh... well, I got locked up last night coming into Lorville, and, like, right after we lost the Carrick, and just got just splattered all over Lorville. Damn. Oh, it's grief or not. It was fun. It was fun because it was like, it's not something I encounter all the time. I was just literally. Oh. Well, that works. Hey, we made it. Now, I was wondering what that proximity alert thing was for. Oh, mother. I'm in. Oh, I'm in. Oh, uh, no. Menu oh, well. Babbage. I'll jump my uh, scout over there. I'll be there in like for four minutes. Oh wait, we're gonna we're gonna server hop, ain't we? Yep. Go. All right, I'm backing out of here. Me too. Yeah, it'll be uh, four minutes from Grimhex. If you. And my scouts, like, oh. I think it's like a three minute call, four minute call. And then yeah, I'm hoping that minutes. the Carrick is still set up because it, it would be like another 20 or 30 minutes of setup if, if it's, uh, if it's not. Well, you got a bunch of guys, so we can help you set up if you. Fair, have. fair, yeah. We we do have a bunch of people now. Yeah, honestly, probably like five minutes with everybody. Let me just make sure stored. Yeah. All right, I don't. So. We're at it. So the server that I'm on is full of Griefernet, and since they know my name from when we fought them last, they're trying to troll me, I guess, or they're wanting me to get everyone else to come fight them. So I don't know if y'all want to fight or not, but it would take a while to get everyone together. Set up. Yeah. But basically, they just. People have names of the Griefernet guys, and the Griefernet guys have names from people that they fight with us. And then they, they'll just hunt you down until you call more people in so you can get a PvP fight. No, oh, they have mine then. They at least know me. Oh, they definitely know me because I called them. They, I had a guy beat my ass with a freaking dev with a lunch tray in freaking Grimhex last night. You can do that? Yeah, he had a lunch tray in his hand. He was sitting there hitting me with the lunch tray. That's well, it interesting. The, it had the meds on it. It wasn't. It looks like a lunch tray, but it's the med tray. That's cool. Yeah, I was laughing about it because I, I knew he was messing with me because he could hear me in chat. Because I had the whole, whole uh, I had proximity and Discord going last night. Not thinking. Gotcha.
I was like, bro, you hear me talking to people. You hear me talking to people. You're over here fucking with me because you hear me talking to people. Yeah, well, they're going to come back with like eight freaking characters to come fuck you up. <laughs> yeah. <I'm... laughs> I was like, mm. I'll be right back. Hey, uh, what are y'all doing? Oh, I wasn't sure if any of y'all guys were like some of the Star Citizen guys that were playing, but uh, the Griefernet people are calling y'all out. Huh? What? I didn't know if y'all were part of the Star Citizen group or not. Yeah, yes. we are. Yeah. We're all... Well, I was in server and I had a red tag pop up and they chased me down and blew me up next to a station because I guess they know my name from when y'all fought them. And they're basically trying to get me to go and get y'all to go and fight them. So I didn't know if y'all were trying to do that or not. We don't give griefer net content. If they want a quote-unquote fair fight, it's something we would consider. Like if it's actually like, like a... 6v6, for example, sure, but we're not going to roll into... And maybe not even sure, that's a maybe. That's actually above my station to decide, I think, considering their Yeah, uh, the last thing we need is... The last thing we need is to be tied in in any way with them. Uh, it's probably best, if you ever see Griefernet, to just hop servers. Yeah, I'm about to. Because the more we... Else. Yeah, the more we feed into it, the the worse it'll get. Yep. That one guy's name. Not to say there isn't something to learn, but um, what's his name? Uh, they have a few that are on, but uh, one's like Stuffer. Like. Esfer. It's yeah, it's that, and then there's a guy whose name's actually Griefernet that's on here, and yep. Some guy with <laughs> GN, and then a number behind their name, GN eight eight zero three QQ. Yep. Uh, That's uh, most of Upper Griefernet. Yeah. Yeah, so we will get wrecked. <laughs> yeah. Frankly. They're Even if it's fair. The stations, though. They're patrolling most of the stations around here. So. That's what they do. Yeah, it's the top servers. We're not interested in doing anything with them. No. Tell them they're poor and they have to make money somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> do not antagonize Griefernet. As funny as it would be, yeah. No. Alright. I'll see you all now. So what you're saying is log into my uh, Zero D Hero Burner account and attack it up. Alright, well, it seems the uh, other people aren't interested to fight Griefernet at all, so I don't know if... Uh... Basically, they're trying to starve them of content so they don't keep griefing people, I guess. But, uh... Is, um... Which server are y'all on right now? We're not in one. Uh, well, I see invite on here. I don't know if I have y'all added. Actually, what's what, what was your name? There. Right like an add you on the main menu? Ubi. Uh, just whoever, so I can join on y'all's server. Oh, it's fat. I had three, four. Uh, just, just hold up one second. I'm loading into a new server now, so you can yeah. join on that. Awesome, it worked. I'm oh, a man, that was getting so irritating. I see fathead three four two four two d. No, it's three dash four. Three dash four. Sent you an invite or a request. Do, do, do. But yeah, apparently, uh, all of Griefernet's like higher ups in their organization are online, so they're flying around all the stations, killing everybody that they can. Gas yes, fools. Damn, damn. They kill in uh, like at space stations and stuff where they're not supposed to. 
Oh, they kill everywhere. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Gotcha. They'll, they'll follow you and they'll hunt you down. If they know where you're at and they find you, they'll just swarm you and missile spawn. Even, even right, small ships, they just kill everyone on site? Yeah, they kill everything. They killed me right at the space station because I was just... I saw gotcha. one of them come in, and then he just killed me in a hornet next to the space station. I just I didn't know who it was because I don't really keep up with all their names, but um. All right, so let's go in global and let's call them out. Well, let's get set up first. Yeah. I don't know if they're in your server or not. They're in the server I just left, though. They seemed to womp us last night. If that was them. That would make sense if that was them, because we got lit up by a bunch of people all at once. All at once, and then it was, uh, the whole, where we got attacked even after. Yeah. Honestly, I'd say if there's Griefernet in here, instead of all loading up into one ship and trying to fight it off like that, just make a fleet of smaller ships together. Yeah. We could just, them. like, talk a bunch of shit to them and then never show up. Tell them to meet us at Pyro Gateway and then go the other direction. Yeah. But um, yeah, they have a, quite a few guys. Their whole their whole thing though is that they just try to ruin people's day. Like if you organize an event or something and they know it's going on, they'll try to cr crash it. And pretty much anything they can do to grief people. But you see like GN with numbers or whatever in people's names, or one guy's name's like Safer. And there's a guy's name that's actually Griefernet, and then there's um, there's a whole lot of other stuff. I don't I don't know all their names. There's a whole lot of them though. Gotcha. Seemed a lot of you seem to know a lot about these people. Uh, Are you one of them? He's in there with them. Well, I was oh, in an us. org that challenged them to a fight, like a week ago. Like I joined in with them so they could fight, and uh, how'd you do? Oh, they got fucking wrecked. Um, they went in there, and they kept trying to organize, and it took like 40 minutes before they would even go into a fight, and then um, they just would get swamped. Griefernet guys would show up and missile spam everyone and, like, take them out. Um, I got a few kills, but I eventually just, as soon as I got into the middle of a fight, I got picked off pretty fast. So it was... Gotcha. A little, a little rough. They're... Cody, where are you at? I'm trying to find a landing pad here at Everest because my hangar has still got the carry in it. Yeah, I'm always getting my. Fight. I'm getting my ship right now. I'm coming from Grim. It's gonna take very long. Grabbing a fucking Hornet. I'm coming from New Babbage, so. Anybody know where the landing pads at Everest are? I don't. I don't think there is uh, pads. There definitely is. Oh wait, is this them? Maybe I might have just found them. Oh dude, actually I think I did just find them. These are sick. Uh, there's an app called uh, Delta Consulting. Yeah, these are cool as shit, dude. And they have all the like landing maps and areas and Stuff, uh, in their app, it's like giant maps for every place in the game. Oh, I did notice something odd though. You know the Avenger one guy, the, the YouTuber guy. Mm hmm. I don't know if this is connected or not, but his recent video that he had did, I was bored at work and I was watching it. It was like a day or so after we had that big org fight against Griefernet, and uh, he was talking about getting into a fight with a bunch of people but he ended up saying like above new babbage or something or hurston or something which wasn't the planet we were at but he was like acting really weird so i don't know if he's connected with those guys or not i would assume not but it just seemed kind of odd that he was talking about this big fight between orgs when literally there was just like that one that happened right before that And if, if they are connected at them at all, though, they're, like, really good PvP fighters, so. I'm a minute out, or a minute from getting my ship. 
I uh the subscription ships just came in and they're all uh cutters. Cutters. They you have all they're all three cutters. How does the subscription work? Welcome subscription to ship the work. Vehicle retrieval system. Uh the yeah. first Tuesday of the month they pop into your uh into your ASOP and you're able to just fly them like they're your ships. But they cycle out, you don't actually own it? Just no, I, 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 yeah, after the after the month, yeah, they're gone. Well, right now it's three. I don't, but be, I don't even know why there's three. And they're they're just cutters. There's though? three different variants yeah. of the cutter. Well, there's the three different variants of the cutter, but I don't know why they're giving three because it's you're only supposed to get two. But it's I mean I ain't complaining. Just to let you try out the cutter. Yeah, all the variants. Yep. That sounds kind of stupid. I feel like so. It, it is kind of, I'm like, I'm not very happy with the last two months, but the month before that I had the raft and the tow truck. And the month before that I had the Corsair and the, uh, uh, uh Vulture. Yeah. I don't know. So it's some of the months it, sounds... it works together. Some of the months it's like, eh. Sounds kind of cool, I guess, but I wouldn't want to pay a reoccurring fee for to to just have like tech test access to stuff, Welcome you know. Oh, I'm not really tested. I mean, it's not like test access. It's just your. The you way I, 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 I was free. using it, I was using it to begin with as like a way to have more ships to be able to do more things. And it's just the last two months they the ships the cutters are kind of useless to me because I have cutters, and. Yeah. I had a Fury and kind of had already figured out that the Fury was garbage and last month was the Furies. Um, Furies are cheap. Anyway. They're, they're, not, they're, they're not garbage. They're not garbage. As a single person, they're garbage. We'll put it that way. You can't use it as a single as a single guy, and that's what I was what I was when I had them. So I look at the Furies like uh, enclosed cab cyclones. But they just, they don't have a QT, so they don't, as a single person, you, you have no use for it, really. There we go, I fucking found them right there. Ship. Planetary travel, you'd have to have, like, really close missions, though. Yep. What, uh, where are we headed again? They're talking to me. Uh, I mean, where are we, where are we meeting up? Oh, I'm, uh, at, Everest. I'm at Hurst, and I have okay. to... Cody, I'm going to move these crates all into uh, my cargo elevator. Hey, I've got a bunch of crates that should be like out right now. Do you see all, all of those? The big you one SU crates? You got oh. one SUs? Yeah. Yeah, there should be uh, like five of them on the pad right now. Or maybe I didn't pull them out yet. I'm not sure. But oh, I got 10 coming also. All right. I'm going to come in here and pull them out. All right, I'm coming to my hangar now. My ship's not here. All right, Fat has leaving for Grim or leaving Grim Hex for. Dude, what the fuck? Where is my stuff. ship? Okay. Oh, it's stored here. Okay. There we go. All right. Yeah, Colton, come over here to my hangar. I'm coming. I see I get my crates all stored real fast. I don't have any ammo. I guess I have to just use the ship guns. I'm bringing pistols and uh, magazines for the pistols, so we'll we'll have that at least on us. Yeah, I only have my Pembroke suit. I don't know how many bullets it'll take to like. I don't know. The the prospector door seems like reinforced or something. 
I would use a vehicle, like one of the bikes or something. Yeah, I gotta respawn everything. You could probably do it with whatever ship you're flying, too. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Claimer. Just put black. Vehicle. Your vehicle has been delivered. Please visit us again. Goodbye. I've never really mixed these armors before, but the just the plain Crusader security heavy armor with the uh Grimex medium helmet. It's alright. I'm still on a QT, but I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. I hope eventually they let us uh, make decals and stuff. Yeah. To put it on armor. I want to be able to take spray paint and spray my ship. It's stupid as it sounds, I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to paint my ship the way I want to be able to paint it, not with the way they want me to be able to paint it. Something tells me you're not getting that functionality. Well, I know it, man. Stuff, the artwork guys were saying they were building stuff so people could manually change their colors on their ships in the past. I don't know if they're staying oh, yeah, no. like that, though. Just think of the code that they'd have to, like, right to make it possible to do that I, oh i know man i know if, if anything they it would have to be like how games have done it before where you make your own skin and you apply the skin to the ship that would be cool That'd what be if cool. they did it like black ops where you could make your own emblem and you just do a bunch of like designs that would imagine be pretty all, cool too well look at, look at war thunder <laughs> oh yeah i imagine look at war thunder <laughs> Look what, at war, look at, do that? Well, look at the things people do with war the the artwork people do with War Thunder, like just the 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 letters using the letters and numbers. You can make all kinds of different camouflages, emblems, all kinds of stuff, designs. <laughs> Armor Core was the same way. You decal your robot, and people would make some crazy shit. Yep. There's guys like making anime girls with numbers and letters. Yeah. Fuck yeah. A better artist yeah. than I could ever imagine. Cody, I'm gonna pop up a bunch more crates real quick. One of them's got a a bunch of weapons on it. How do you get? How'd you already get the weapons in it? Because I put them in it when I was at a uh, uh, area 18 where I bought it. Where I loaded it up, I put weapons in it. Oh, I'm catching you, Fafo. Can I get a party invite? Or What are you guys up to? Party leader. Hey, these one eight SCUs, those um, need to be yeah, off. Yeah, give me a sec. What, Colton? There's stuff on the elevator right now. Do you need it? Uh, I was thinking we could take the one eight, the one eight SCUs, put drinks in them, and put them around the ship. That's fine. All right, who needs an invite? Bilbo will need one, but I'm not logged in yet. What are you guys doing? Um, so, stuff. yeah, yeah, we, we've been trying to get set up. I had a, a major issue where I couldn't actually get in the PU, but we're loading up the Carrick right now and going to do, like, some, uh, you know, just full crew, like, exploration, trying to find some unique places, and maybe get some bunkers, that kind of thing.
Yeah, Marlax, you need a uh, cutter scout in the white paint job for your fleet. Uh, I mean, I like the cutter, but uh, I was you got to. You, you have to, man. It's the E2 Hawkeye. I was gonna do white in my fleet, but I just man, I kind of like some of those white paints. It kind of grew on me, but. Be hard to do. I don't know if I. I don't like the idea of like having a big white dot in the middle of space somebody can see. It's um. Other than that. Uh, they can't really see it unless they're close enough that they'd be able to see it anyhow. Yeah. The color it doesn't really good. matter. It looks the part. That that's this what I'm saying about it. It looks the part. It looks like a future E2 Hawkeye. E2 Hawkeye. Hey, how do you fucking load these crates, Cole? What do you mean? How do you load them? How do you put stuff in the crate? Yeah, like, uh, I got bought off a fuckload of shit. Yeah, Trying you put it, put it on your player and then open one of these crates and transfer it in. Oh, shit. All right, let do me get my... Do you have everything two, in your local inventory? Like if you go yeah. up to one of the storage terminals. Yep. What you can also do is in the storage terminal, if that crate is also in your local storage, you scroll over to the crate and it has like an arrow symbol on it. If you press that arrow, it'll shrink your local storage and it'll expand the container storage. And then you can drag everything from your local storage to the container. Oh, awesome. I think I gotta wait for the mission to respawn. I forgot how much fun this thing is to fly. Because you can do so much with it because it's so slow. Can I get a party invite from one of you guys? Um, yeah. Who is it? Bilbo Swaggins, 72. Okay. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Sorry I didn't join you guys last night. I uh, I had like three back-to-back game-breaking glitches, and I just had to leave the game. Oh, you're all good, man. None of us are strangers, bro. Ah, fuck, sorry. Can you resend that? That's yep. Yeah, I just put a fuckload of water much. bottles away. I can't find the creek that I did then. Alright, um, Bilbo Swaggins again. Here you are. Invite, I'm going to your hangar. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, this is weird. I just I put uh, 900 cruise bottles into a, a one SCU crate. That's and crazy. Now I'm looking for it. And I don't see it. <laughs> Let me click this again. Get sort maybe. I hear something banging around by the turret. That's me. That's me. I've got a crate over here on the hab deck. Dude, I wish I didn't buy so many of these fucking store all crates. Oh, any of y'all have the uh, illegal surveillance mission? 
It's not respawning for me. I don't know. Is one of y'all moving a crate yeah. somewhere? Yeah, somebody was. I hear one that's colliding quite a bit, it sounds like. Yeah, nothing seems to uh, want to work at the moment. This is really weird. Quantum drive is now off. Do you want to share your screen or stream? Uh, I haven't I haven't started streaming just yet. Quantum no, I just meant via Discord so I can like see what what's happening. My mouse is stuck on my screen. I can't fucking get it off. Quantum oh my drive God. is now off. Dude, this is amazing. Hit Z. Oh, I, I am. Trust me. Oh, okay. <laughs> F2. Base. Yep. Oh, oh fuck. Damn it. Why did I you log know. exactly? Because I, I really need to. It's Congratulations. Target is destroyed. Cannot join server full. That's great. Oh shit. Well, you might as well just grab a new one. I gotta log anyhow, because I'm stuck in inside of your hangar. Ah! I'm in the space station. It's, this is rough tonight. I don't know what's going on. This is crazy. What was going on? Everything. <laughs> my whole it was inventory. Kind of rough for me too. My entire inventory on my local storage wouldn't show up. And then when I exited the kiosk, my mouse was stuck on my screen. And I couldn't actually rotate my character. Uh, I tried, you know, hitting F, spamming F like normally would fix it. Tried Z, tried Shift, tried Control F, tried F right click. Are you back in the PU? Press. Yeah. It says your server's full. 
I ended the Galaxy, Fafo, Bilbo. I'm in the same server that we were just in, actually. So, is stuff actually working now? Yeah, it looks like stuff works now. I'm, dude. I'm so confused why this is doing this. Is that dude in our Discord, or is he in... I don't know. Actually, I, I think, really don't know. I think it's is he in, in the party because I don't see anybody, like... Oh, are you talking about the person who's talking in-game? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see anybody talking in Discord when he talks. Is he party? Oh, that's a good idea. Um. Yeah, I think he is. I don't I don't think he knows that he's like I don't think he knows we can hear him. <laughs> that sucks too, yeah. man. Yeah, man. I just found a reclaimer. Uh, yeah. Colton, does it still say full for you? I'm loading in. Okay. And then I'll start my journey through Loreville. Loreville? Or, oh, wait, we're at Everest. Yeah, it should yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. oh, my what? Man. Black elevator. Elevator. <laughs> and I almost oh. walked through it. Almost Don't walk. go into it. Just walk in that. I was inches, man. Try to throw something into it. Dude, what is wrong with the server? It's full. <laughs> We're going to invite sir, uh, thing, right? Uh, what? Oh, I walked in a black elevator. Damn what a buffoon. Man. My door did falling? Not. Okay. I'm, I'm in space. Dude, I don't know what's going on with the game tonight, but it's worse than it normally is for sure. You guys want to move to another server? Yeah. Yeah, yes. server yeah. hop. Alright. Okay. There's um, way too many people in here. Somebody else yeah. started on the wall, George. I'm doing it. Mm. Alright. Exit to menu. Yep, yeah, I'm going to menu. Do, do, do. We got 10 motherfuckers in this bit? Oh my god. We're only 7 in the VC, where are the other 3 at? Mm -hmm. Alright. We're gonna join... Should still hopefully be this is yeah hopefully this is better god damn <laughs> I mean, like, for, did we see how many like, people were in it or yeah it's at 52 okay so with all of us it should be uh, 60 so be a lot smaller than that yeah Yeah, well, we I've been spending like two or three hours now just trying to get around the game's glitching. Oh my god! Gotta love uh, play playing an alpha game, right? <laughs> amen, amen, brother, a fucking man. Hey man, hailfire. It's still eighty thousand times better than Norma, so I don't give a shit. Am I this game's gonna be alpha forever, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 
My upstairs neighbors really pissed me off, so I've been thinking about just throwing a lacrosse ball up at this dude. <laughs> just dude. one? I mean, I gotta be able to catch it too, bro. Dude, no, he's so hard enough. Are you a sword? sword? No, and just my stick ceiling. It their floor. I live. I live in an old mill. So like the ceilings are tall as shit. Like, get a big each floor sword. is probably like, like in my room, that's in a loft, that's like ten feet above like the main floor. The ceilings are still probably fifteen feet above. No, actually more. Probably like twenty you feet. You live in a mill. I just think of the Ring movie, the Lighthouse. You should get like a big ladder. So, so they're on the other side of the. They're like above you. Yeah. You should get a big ladder and just kind of cup your hands to the ceiling, put your mouth up to it, and tell them to shit, shut the fuck up. <laughs>